Hello YouTube, welcome to another video by the Geo Scholar. I would like to give a shout out to one of my Patreons, Atlas Schmatlas, who has pledged $3 a month. And when you pledge $3 a month to the Geo Scholar's Patreon, you get a credit in the video and you get a shout out. So I would like to shout out Atlas Schmatlas. And for the topic of this video, the five major circles of the earth. The five major circles of latitude. It's the circle of latitude. Five lines of latitude. Okay, I'm going to get into the topic. There are five major circles of latitude. That I'm going to talk about in this video. The Arctic Circle, Tropic of Cancer, the Equator, Tropic of Capricorn, the Antarctic Circle. The Tropic of Capricorn, this is a circle of latitude in the Southern Hemisphere, being south of the equator, being part of the Southern Hemisphere. This is the southernmost circle of latitude where the sun can be directly overhead. And this line of latitude goes through several several countries. It goes through Chile, Argentina, Paraguay, Brazil. It goes through Namibia, Botswana, South Africa. It goes through Australia as well. There are four countries completely south of this line. Uruguay is south of the Tropic of Cancer. No, Capricorn, excuse me. It's south of the Tropic of Capricorn. In fact, it is the only country in South America that is south of the Tropic of Capricorn. New Zealand is south of the Tropic of Capricorn. And in the continent of Africa, there are two countries that are south of the Tropic of Capricorn. Lesotho, right here, located completely inside South Africa. And up here, surrounded by South Africa and Mozambique. Well, this is an old map, so it says Swaziland. It's been changed to Eswatini. This is not a fixed line of latitude. The Tropic of Capricorn is moving gradually north at a pace of about 0.47 arc seconds per year. That's about 15 meters or 49.2 feet. It does not have a fixed position because of a slight wobble in the Earth's longitudinal alignment in relation to its orbit around the Sun. Every 40,000 years or so, the Tropic of Capricorn will vary between 22.1 and 24.5 degrees south. Currently, as of right now, the official latitude of the Tropic of Capricorn is 23 degrees south. It's 23 degrees, 26 seconds, 23 degrees, 26 minutes, and 12.5 seconds south of the equator. The Tropic of Cancer. This is in the Northern Hemisphere. It is a circle of latitude in the Northern Hemisphere. This is the northernmost point where you can go where the sun will be directly overhead. And when the sun reaches that point, that's your summer solstice. That occurs in June. I forgot, I forgot to mention that when the sun goes directly overhead around the Tropic of Capricorn, when the sun's overhead, same thing, summer solstice, except that happens in December. But with the Tropic of Capricorn, you have the same thing as if it was the Tropic of... With the Tropic of Cancer, it's the same thing as if we're with the Tropic of Capricorn. 
the Tropic of Capricorn is also in a non-fixed position. It's moving at a rate of, you know, 49 feet a year, or 15 meters, or 0 0.47 arc seconds. And that has a lot to do with, you know, the wobble and the longitudinal alignment relative to the orbit of the Earth. And it has a lot to do with the axial tilt of the Earth. So that circle of latitude is not fixed either. Unlike the Tropic of Capricorn, the Tropic of Cancer is gradually moving further south. Some of the places that are on the Tropic of Capricorn, no, Tropic of Cancer. Look through the Tropic of Cancer, it goes through Mexico, goes through the Bahamas, goes through Western Sahara, Mauritania, Mali, Algeria, Libya, Egypt, goes through Saudi Arabia, goes through the U United Arab Emirates, goes through Oman, goes through India, Bangladesh, Myanmar, parts of China, in the far south of China, Taiwan. The state of Hawaii, the U.S. state of Hawaii, this is the only American state that is south of the Tropic of Cancer. So, this state is located within the tropics. And for the most part, with the exception of highland areas, such as what you find in Mexico and what you find here in, in the southern parts of China, right here, in the highlands of China, coastal areas are going to be warmer, but with the exception of some highland areas, it tends to be hot and humid around the Tropic of Cancer. Same goes with the Tropic of Capricorn. It tends to be hot, humid climates, except for some of the highland regions. Official latitude for the Tropic of Cancer, 23 degrees, 26 minutes, 12.5 seconds north of the equator. The Arctic Circle. Arctic comes from the Greek word arktikos, meaning bear. Now, you get around the Arctic regions, you will find polar bears. So it is a fitting name. But this, this is the southernmost point where you have polar night and the midnight sun. Basically, this is the southernmost point where you have at least one day of 24 hours of sunlight and 24 hour darkness. The further north you go, you're going to have more and more days of polar nights and midnight sun. And areas where the Arctic Circle goes through, goes through, you know, looks like it just barely skates by Iceland, goes through Greenland, which is a part of Denmark, goes through Canada, goes through the United States, goes through Russia, it goes through Norway, Sweden, Finland, and the largest landmass on the Arctic Circle is Russia. As mentioned with the other circles of latitude, the Arctic Circle is not fixed. That has a lot to do with the wobble in the Earth's longitudinal alignment. And this is drifting slightly north at a rate of 49 feet per year, or 15 meters, or 0.4 second arc seconds. This is notable for going through areas that are populated, we're very thinly populated, this being the Arctic regions, being a very hostile environment due to, the, due to the extreme cold for the most part. Now, if you go on some, go to certain coastal areas, you go around here in parts of Norway here, it's going to be a lot milder compared to going further inland towards Finland and Russia. But now we're going to go to the opposite end. The Antarctic Circle. And by the way, 
the latitude for the Arctic Circle is 66 degrees, 33 minutes, 47.5 degree, 47.5 seconds north. Opposite end of the Earth, the Antarctic Circle. Antarctic meaning opposite the Arctic at 66 degrees, 33 minutes, 47.5 seconds south of the equator. This is the southernmost of the five major circles of latitude that we're going to discuss. This is the northernmost point in the southern hemisphere where you have at least one day of polar night and one day of the midnight sun, basically 24 hours of darkness in the winter and 24 hours of sunlight in the summer for at least a day. You go further south from this line, you're going to have far more days. You get around the South Pole, you're going to have situations where during the winter it's all darkness and during the summer it's all light because the axial tilt of the, of the Earth. And this being Antarctica, you know, the Antarctic Circle passes through parts of Antarctica, but once you go south of this, it's Antarctica. This continent is pretty much, most of it is surrounded by the Arctic, by the Antarctic Circle. This line is drifting southward, the equator. The equator is equidistant from both of the poles. It is equidistant from all of the other lines of latitude that we discuss in this video. Like the other lines, this one's not fixed either. The equator is not really fixed because of the equatorial plane. It's not fixed to the equatorial plane because it drifts with the polar motion of the Earth by about uh, 30 feet throughout the year. What's notable about the equator, it is the only one of the major circles that is a great circle. It, you know, think about this. Think about the Earth. If you look at the Earth and you see that you've got the equator here, it's the longest of these lines of, lat of latitude. It goes around the center, it goes around the Earth, and you think about you think about the shape of the Earth. You know, you, you think about it, it's round, and because it's round, it's gonna the equator. It, think of it as you're taking something and you're cutting it in half. When the sun gets over, gets directly overhead on the equator, you get an equinox, equal night. So in March, if you're in the southern hemisphere, that's your autumnal equinox. If you're in the northern hemisphere, that is your vernal equinox or your spring equinox. And in September, vernal equinox here, autumnal equinox here. And the equator has a length of 40,075 kilometers or 24,901 miles. But let's see what it goes through. Goes through the Galapagos, goes through Ecuador, Colombia, Brazil. And interestingly, Brazil is located on the equator and the Tropic of Capricorn. You've got, you know, it goes through Brazil, goes through Gabon, the Republic of Congo, the Democratic Republic of Congo, goes through Uganda, Kenya, Somalia, and Indonesia straddles the equator as well. And these are the five major circles of latitude. If you like this video, check out other videos on this channel. And as always, leave a comment, like, and subscribe.